Rathalos is definitely one of the most well-known monsters in the Monster Hunter universe, but is he the coolest monster with Los in his name? Spoiler alert, he's not. Am I talking about Monoblos or Diablos? No, dude, obviously I'm talking about Astalos. You literally read the title and clicked this video. <laughs> Now, if you haven't had the pleasure of taking on this gorgeous Thunder Wyvern, much like your dad, I'm not going to be mad, I'm just going to be disappointed. The main reason for that disappointment is that it would mean that you haven't played arguably the best entry in the Monster Hunter series, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, where Astalos was introduced. But I digress. There's just so much to love about this monster, and its aggressive nature helps to make the fights engaging and have you on your toes at all times. Let me introduce you to Astalos. It was so easy putting a thumbnail together for this video because Astalos honestly does all the work. You don't have to add in a bunch of artificial thunder or lightning because this supercharged freak loves to stay in a charged state. Now, I know you might be like me and immediately think of a dragonfly as part of the inspiration for Astalos' design, but when you look at its wings, it's actually more akin to a glass winged butterfly. There's two other parts of Astalos that definitely stand out at first glance. You'll be quick to notice a large crest on its head that I think of as a pompadour like Josuke, and much like Josuke, he'll absolutely end you if you try to make fun of it. This very much fits the behavior of Astalos. They are super aggressive, predatory fighters, and even if they're not so hungry, they'll still come flying at you if you happen to even think about threatening their territory. The next thing you'll definitely notice is his long tail with something like an earwig-esque pincer at the end of its tail. The scaly, almost carapace insect-like design of Astalos' body looks incredible from the start, but really looks fantastic when it jumps into its charge state, and the dark green, near-black body helps to make the electricity pop as it surges through its body. Now, like I was saying earlier, Astalos loves to stay charged up. They do this by actually rubbing their body parts together, and you may actually notice from time to time that its previously red eyes may glow green while it's in this charged state. Now, where this electric current gets discharged from is what makes Astalos such a fun, engaging, and intense fight. Right off the bat, if you're a pretty long-time hunter, you'll notice that Astalos uses the Rathian skin, and I'm talking old school. This might seem a little odd since most of the recent flying wyvers use the Tigrex skeleton or a unique one of their own. Now, just because Astalos uses the Wrath skeleton does not mean that its fight is going to be one-to-one -one in comparison to Rathian or Rathalos. Quite the contrary, my friend. Astalos utilizes the ability to charge up electricity in different parts of its body and strike in a variety of ways. This can include things like getting bashed by supercharged wing slams, nice, okay, cool, or even getting shot at with bolt shots straight from its pincer-like tail. The most iconic of his supercharged attacks would have to be his head slam. Now, I know that already immediately sounds cool, but when you actually see it, it gets even better. From Astalos' crest on its head, it forms a sort of light beam or saber that can absolutely devastate a hunter that isn't focused or finds themselves panicking at the sight of it. Using the saber-like current jutting from its crest, the Astalos will utilize the extended range it gives to catch you by surprise. Some of the other attacks you're going to have to worry about are things like lightning breath attacks sending lightning bolts and crossing patterns, beams of lightning shot directly from its tail, electric AoE attacks after it slams its tail into the ground. Are you starting to see what I meant about it having such an impressive versatility in its arsenal despite using an older skeleton? The best part about Astalos is it's one of the best balances in a fight I've experienced in Monster Hunter when it comes to I guess what you could call fairness and punishment. While his attacks, especially against Hyper Astalos, are very punishing, there are still pretty clear-cut tells that will help you get through the fight. You don't have the homing claw attacks like a Rathalos or single-frame charges like Teostra. Now, I'm by no means saying you can casually coast while you're fighting Astalos. I'll again remind you that this is a super aggressive monster, 
it's going to have you on your heels plenty of times. But like I said, there are definitely clear tells and pretty safe spots as far as hitboxes. Things like his wing slams can be rolled under and punished for example. Much like any hard hitting monster in the series, if you take an extra close look, you'll be able to notice things like his crest twitching before his lightsaber attack. He has follow ups, heavy hitters, speed, aggression, and everything that brings challenge to a fight, but absolutely nothing that's insurmountable. This section is going to be a little triggering for me, so apologies in advance. If you're someone who hasn't played Generations Ultimate, you haven't gotten to experience what I think might be top 5 as far as fights go in the entire series. Astalos has a deviant in Gen Yu called Bolt Reaver Astalos. This deviant takes that aggressive predator vibe and cranks it to a thousand. You'll notice right away that this Astalos is always at that charge state a normal Astalos would eventually get to. The kicker here is that Bolt Reaver can pick it up a notch and go into a charge mode where its electric currents are a super awesome blue color and when I tell you this makes its attacks super powerful, I'm not being facetious in the least. You poor dude. Haha. -ha. Oh. Hunter facing Bolt Reaver. Breathes. Gets one shot. <laughs> yeah. And that that's like... Uh... Bolt Reaver not only gains some extra power, but extra moves as well. As you could tell from the clip of me being an absolute coward and hiding behind a rock, Bolt Reaver gets a solid upgrade to its head saber attack and even has a bit of a delay on the move itself whether he's on the ground or in the air. If you paid attention closely to my coward clip, you caught another move that Bolt Reaver uses. It will shoot out a charged ball onto the ground that will actually start pulling your hunter into it. If you willingly accept this fate, you'll be pulled to the center and likely cart. Okay, simple enough. I'll just mindlessly sprint away. Wrong, you fool. Bolt Reaver will follow this up with a head saber or it will literally dive bomb you into oblivion. You add to this that paralysis and stun are things that Bolt Reaver can inflict upon you with ease and it stirs the pot that much more. It is very much a glass cannon when it comes to the deviants, but when I tell you he's heavier on the cannon part... <laughs> I mean it. The gear for Astalos looks awesome. You get that same dark carapace buggish look from Astalos, but also the same kind of Gundam vibe that you get from Nursilla or the Celtus armors. It looks sharp in both a literal and figurative sense. Now when it comes to the stats, a full set of Astalos armor is going to give you negate stun, repeat offender, and stamina recovery up. Dual blades immediately jumps out to me as a solid option for this set. It utilizes the stam recovery and chain crib optimally. Any kind of quick hitting weapon is going to benefit from the chain crit, but everyone can benefit from negate stun. Altogether, the look of the armor and the skills are a perfect representation of what Astalos is. And so there you have it, your introduction to one of the coolest monsters in the series and one of the most fun to fight. Its hyper and deviant versions push both of these factors even higher, and if you haven't gotten the chance to face them, I highly suggest you get your hands on a code or copy of Generations Ultimate and do so immediately. On that note, if you haven't done so already and want to help out, hit the subscribe and bell buttons and toss a like my way if you feel so inclined. Feel free to join our Discord if you'd like to continue the conversation or find people to hunt with in any of the Monster Hunter games. Catch me streaming Gen U and other Monster Hunter games over on Twitch. Have a good night, happy hunting, and I will see you guys in the next video.